What defines greatness? According to Shakespeare, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrusted upon them. Heroes are made every day. However, most of the time, we don't notice their greatness until it's too late. But not on this day. Today, four teams battle for greatness, for honor, for respect. Heroes are shaped by the challenges presented to them. They do incredible things when their backs are up against the wall. One of these teams will come out heroes. They will achieve greatness. They will become amazing. Do you guys think that you have a chance to win this competition? I have the spirit in my heart. Because we are seniors. Obviously. Of course. Welcome to Franklin High School's first ever Amazing Race. For those of you who don't know how it works, I'll explain. Each team will start at different parts of the school. Once the race starts, they will be given a clue. This clue will lead them to their first destination. When they reach it, they will have to perform some sort of activity in order to receive their next clue. The goal of this competition is to be faster, smarter, and stronger than the rest of the field and reach the finish line first. All the contestants will represent their respective grids. And after their several interviews and extensive training, they're all ready to show off their skills and win free cookies for their classmates. After all, when cookies are on the line, people will do almost anything. 1,400 students, 24 cameras, four teams, but only one will win. Are you ready? I know we're ready. Get in your places. The amazing race is about to start. Cheer for your team, whatever your team may be. Get behind them, seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen. Get ready, on your mark, get set, go. The amazing race has begun. Get behind your class, your group. Cheer them on the victory. Go, go, go. Well, the sophomores are going to their first station. Let's see what task is in store for them. You will get your clue by spinning around the bat ten times with your nose on the bat. Go. One. Looks like they have, they're having them do the old bat spin Three, here. Four. Five. Six. Seem to be having some difficulty not even touching their nose to the bats like they're supposed to. Ooh, and, and Tyler has a little slip up there. He almost went down. That could have been bad. They have their clue and they're going to the next one. Now we'll go to the juniors at their first station. In order to receive your next clue, you must toss five Swedish fish into that bucket from behind that line. Now, Melissa has a background in basketball, so that might help her out with this activity. They're having a little bit of difficulty here, and oh, she gets a little bit testy with her partner there. They've completed the task. Now we'll move to the seniors in the Japanese room. For your next clue, you must decipher the two kanji on the board. What? I don't know Japanese. Oh, they don't know the Japanese, and that could be that could make this translation a little bit difficult. Japan. What? No, because look, this is part of it. Sign. Second one is... While they're working on that, we'll see how the freshmen are doing over in the green room. Charlie is backpedaling. That's a very strange technique. I don't, I don't know how that's going to help him go any faster. This is your clue. Please read it aloud to the camera. I'm out of breath. We could just send you off to Kenya, but instead... Come on! Come on. Oh, talk to Kanya. So, Kenya. Kenya. So before you guys go, the girl That's must the give the guy a piggyback ride all the way to the back hallway. <laughs> you go in here from the cafeteria, and then you guys have to go to your clue. What? It looks like Charlie could use his piggyback ride because he looks quite out of breath. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> to the back hallway. And they're off. Now we're back in the juniors. Second clue. Spin around the bat ten times with your nose on the bat. About to attempt the bat spin. 
One. Having two, a little bit more success than the sophomores did. Three. Keep going. We can just send you off to Daniel by instead. Why not talk to Daniel? <laughs> now, Tyler's stature is going to make this quite difficult. I mean, he's not easy to carry around. Now we're back with the juniors. Sophomores have left the multi-purpose room. Juniors are about to leave the multi-purpose room. They know where they're going and they're on their way. Back to the seniors, they're at the Swedish fish toss. They're having some problems. Accuracy is a bit of an issue for them. Now Charlie is really out of breath. And just as tying her shoe, it's always good to have your equipment in order. I mean, he, he can barely speak right now. That one looks like a star We have two classes in the same room at the same time. This could provide some interesting drama. The juniors have finished their piggyback. And they're still working on their Japanese in the Japanese room. Holy crap. Oh. What? Is it first or Japan? Oh, uh, uh, woman. Oh, woman. son. Big. They're stumbling through it. Gio. Gio and Melissa are sprinting through the halls. OK, what grade are you guys? Freshman. 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 Holy crap. Oh, freshman, sorry. Freshman. freshman. This fountain of gold is the easiest spot. They have their clue and they're going to go. Right. Here we go, guys. Lazar went a little bit ahead, was a little bit ahead of Sutton here. Okay, this is your final step. Read it aloud to the camera. Here we write in the film the news. Find us here to end the clues. But before you go, she must give you a piggyback ride and go all the way to the back. What? Are you kidding me? Sutton cannot believe that she has to give him a piggyback ride. Yeah. Yeah, sophomore. Ready for my next one. Go. 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 They're working through the final crew. Sun woman small. And they got it. They're now on their way to the final station. The freshmen are way behind. Not a very good performance by Charlie today. The seniors are now on their way to their final place too. It's going to be a foot race. Just won the amazing race. How do you guys feel? I feel amazing right now. It's awesome. Are you tired? Yeah. Definitely. What was the key to your success? Hustle. Hustle? Hustle and communication. Our socks. Our socks. You gotta have massive socks. coordinating outfits yeah. and exactly. also brain power. Did you have yep. to use your brains? A little bit. A little bit. Is it a little early for that? No. <laughs> What class are you in? Uh, junior. So you guys are repping the juniors? Yeah. What do you got to say to the seniors? They didn't step up. Uh, they didn't want it. They just didn't want it. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. Victory lap with the torch. Juniors. Good job. Well, I think that was a very successful first Amazing Race. I think it was, but you should be embarrassed for your seniors. What, what uh, was up with them? I, I'm not really as much angry at them as I'm disappointed in them. I mean, we, we were all pulling for them. I wanted the cookies, our entire grade wanted the cookies, and we should have won because we're the upperclassmen. So. Well, I heard they had issues putting the Swedish fish in the pond. I did, yes. They, they had a soccer player, and then it, it, they, they got, they sh we should have, yeah, I'm just... Do oh. you want one, by the way? Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hungry. They're I'm delicious. so disappointed. Yeah, but what's up with the freshmen? They said that they got pushed. They said that the people were throwing these at them. There was a bit of a controversy with that, but I don't, I'm not sure what happened. We're going to have to review the tapes and get back, and we'll see. Yeah, but they're freshmen, Robbie. Who cares? Yeah, I guess. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's no big deal, you know? But the juniors, look at the juniors. 
juniors. They did so well. I mean, it was such a surprise to me seeing them do very well mm -hmm. because, I mean, I, I expected the seniors to just blow everyone away. And These I'm, red I'm just... ones are really good, man. Are you sure you don't want one? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really, I'm sickened by those. <laughs> oh, man. Should I spit it out then? <laughs> no, I shouldn't do it on a camera. Okay. Well, it's unpolite to eat, so uh, why don't you uh, sign off for us? Thank you guys for watching. Um, it was a very successful, amazing race. Thank you guys, and have a good day. Go Swedish fish. <laughs>